<clears throat> why would God have done what he did in Christ? It is mind-boggling. And how could such a marvelous assurance be granted to us when we continue to stray from his word, even after having received the... E even after having received Jesus as Lord. It is truly astonishing. Truly such peace surpasses all understanding. And yet, because it is true, it is able to, as Paul now says, guard your hearts and minds. A guard is a sentinel. It is one who watches out for dangers, sounds the alarm, and defends against the onslaught of the enemy. This is what the peace of God can do for us if we simply trust in him. It can happen. We can look beyond the trials which afflict us, and we can have the assurance that whatever they may be, they are temporary and futile in stealing us away from the sure promises which are ours to claim through Christ Jesus. Once again, that's Paul's words, through Christ Jesus. It says right there, through Christ Jesus. He's able to guard your hearts and your minds through Christ Jesus. The final term is the key to the entire thought. It is only through Christ Jesus that this peace is attainable. It is he who died for the atonement of our sins. It is he who is resurrected unto eternal life, being found without sin. And it is he who guarantees these things to us when we are found in him. We can have the absolute confidence that God's word is true and that his promises are sure because Christ Jesus has gone before us. If we just remember that, our lives will be happy. They will be content lives. And you will be able to hopefully put that anxiety behind you. Let the Lord lead you in your salvation, okay? You may know your salvation, but you're not letting the Lord lead you in it. And that's what you need to do. He has gone before you. Rest in that. Trust in it. And have your hope in that life application. If you really believe the message of Christ, then you can cast all of your cares upon him because he cares for you. The peace of God can, in fact, fill you completely and absolutely if you simply meditate on what his work means for you. Allow yourself to be filled with this peace. Christ has prevailed. What can the world do to us?